Hello, and welcome to Morning Tea with Matt and me. <laughs> I don't know why I chose to sit in the corner. Okay, today we're trying Candy Cane Crush. It's the new David's Tea Christmas Tea. It smells like almond bark, not almond bark. Uh, candy cane bark. Chocolate. Chocolate. Candy cane bark. Candy cane stuff. This creamy mint black tea is strewn, strewn with candy cane bits and snowflake sprinkles. Ingredients, black uh. tea, white peppermint, white chocolate, sorry, peppermint and snowflake candies, cane sugar, peppermint, natural peppermint and vanilla flavoring. Natural. I'm assuming the peppermint is just like peppermint pieces, like the candy cane, and then they add the flavoring. Yeah. It's good. They didn't add the little David Steve triangle thingy that tells you it's a black tea, but that's fine. It's whatever. We also made, well, I made French toast, and Matt is here complaining about it. Cause too much cinnamon. Too much cinnamon. I love cinnamon. And then we got the Ontario maple syrup. So this tea is very, like, cloudy. Like, if you were to put it in a clear mug. It... Why is yours cloudy? I don't know. You... What did you do yet? I just dunked it. Why does it look like it's a different color than mine? Because, okay, I can did see you add I can, milk? I can, No, I can see yours at the bottom doing the same thing. If you do oh. this. Oh. You know what it is? Yours probably the chocolate melted more. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, oh, now oh, you're just yeah. It. yeah, okay. First it goes kind of clear and it's kind of like I just tasted it and it was kind of watery and I was like, oh. But here, let's give it okay. You clearly just need to steep it a while because the chocolate bits in it and the candy and whatever need to dissolve. So let's see because everyone's been raving about it. Yeah. See, it starts off clear and then the chocolate and everything oh, it kind of melts looks... and infused and then it goes to like a cloudy. It almost looks sparkly, kind of. It does. I think like it's the oil. Like glitter gold, but yeah, it's probably just the oil. Oh. Wow. That's oh, pretty good. That's better than two seconds ago. I just need to give it a little stir. You gotta do the dunk. A little dunk and a stir. Dunk, dunk, squirrel. Dunk, dunk, squirrel. Dunk, dunk. Yeah, it's definitely because I can see the chocolate bits that have melted yeah. in mine. It's pretty good. And the white candy cane bits melted a bit too. Making it very, very minty. Okay, there's only enough to make one more tea. Okay, this is very heavy in the like additives. The like the the candy pieces and the chocolate pieces. Like the tea it, it isn't very tea, if that makes sense. Tea? But that could just be because this is the bottom of the bag, but Let's see. Like I I think it's just because the candy pieces are oh. very like big. That it makes it look. Yeah. Matt's wearing my polar bear onesie. Like the cool cat he is. I don't know. I think it would taste good as a latte. Maybe that's what we can do with the rest of it. It'd probably be good as an eggnog latte too. Like candy king eggnog latte. I don't know. Um, maybe it's because of the sweetness of the one from Tivana. The um, it's like a it's a rooibos one, and you can taste the rooibos in it, but it's not like overpowering. Mm. White. White peppermint, I think they call this. I don't know. I'll add a link for both these teas for the this Candy Cane Crush by David and the Tivana one down below. And the doobly doo. So how would you rate this tea? I was about out, to of, ask out of ten. I'm gonna give it a seven. Um, and maybe that's has to do with like there was a lot of hype for it and like it's good it's a good tea i really enjoy it but for some reason i thought it would be like extremely flavorful and like full of magic and stuff and not that it isn't flavorful or anything but um it's just it's a little bit too pepperminty i think there's too much peppermint flavor i'd say six six out of ten for myself see i'd like to do a side by side comparison of this and santa's secret and maybe we can do that because i know i have oh, santa's yeah. secret somewhere Cause I haven't had that in a year, in about a year, and I, I can't remember what it tastes like. What is Santa's secret? It's like the other Christmas tea. That no, but like. Oh, it has. What? Has no, but it's a black tea. what is he hiding? Like, what is oh. the secret? How good his tea is. That he has like, I don't know, dirty underwear or something. We all his have dirty underwear. We all have a pair his, of dirty underwear hiding somewhere. His underwear is filled with coal. Six out of ten. Oh, why? Okay. Um, it's just the peppermint taste is just sort of too much. It's too overwhelming. There's not enough of that chocolate sort of flavor that I can see from the bag here. Those little chocolate pieces. There's not as much sweetness for the amount of candy yeah. that they put in it. Mm-hmm. 
And I'm not going to complain because a lot of people don't like a sweet tea. It's but it's good. Nice. It's, 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 it's a good, good tea. tea. It's a good tea. I want to try this latte. Better than a lot of others. But uh, yeah, just a little bit too much peppermint. Um, the texture isn't all that pleasing as well. You get, you get kind of like the oiliness from mm -hmm. the, 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 the candy or the chocolate. I'm yeah, assuming it's the chocolate. Yeah, a little bit of residue on my lip. Yeah, there's, you can see sort of oil. Like lip mambo. Floating on top. It kind of looks sparkly. Uh... It's, it's very, you cannot see the bottom of the mug. <laughs> it's very cloudy, <laughs> but it's good. It's good. So that's why I give it six out of 10. Alrighty. So again, this has been our review of Candy Cane Crush. Excuse me. From David's Tea. <laughs>